You can see the letters BNSF on these locomotives. It stands for the Burlington Northern Santa Fe. The name of the railroad company made up of two railroads that were separate in the past, the Burlington Northern and the Santa Fe. These tracks on the Washington side of the Columbia River are also used to carry half of Amtrak's Empire Builder passenger train. That half of the train leaves Portland and joins with the Seattle-Washington half in Spokane, Washington. There they go to Chicago as one train. The Empire Builder was built by the Great Northern Railroad. Watch. That's the port area over there, obviously. Big old warehouses here, big old cranes to unload the ships. And this is the railroad yard. This is the gigantic Oakland Rail Yard in California. The port here receives ships from all over the world. Freight is moved from the ships to the railroad into the trains where it's moved east. So is this the kind of yard your your brother worked in? Yeah. This would be the yard. This is the yard then. Huh? Except that's at Union Pacific, but somewhere he in here, he was working out of the Elkwood. Trains are serviced here, and freight cars are taken off some trains and put onto other trains to take them to their destinations. This huge train yard was built by Southern Pacific Railway Company in the past, but today it belongs to Union Pacific. They bought out Southern Pacific. Union Pacific now owns Southern Pacific Railroad. You can see lots of freight containers, some stacked up to five high. Containerized freight is very popular today. Many of these containers are from China, where the United States gets much of its products, things people buy. This large equipment is for taking containers off of ships and putting them on railroad cars. The United States takes in, or imports, more products than it sends out, or exports. These products are moved from the west coast to the rest of the country by train or by truck. And here you can see train cars carrying these freight containers. This freight train has already gone east as far as El Paso, Texas. It's moving slowly through the area of the passenger station. It will pick up speed when it gets out of the city. In many places, there are more than one set of train tracks. That way, more than one train can pass at a time. Train yards can have as many as 50 parallel tracks, or even more. This is a train going through an urban tunnel. In some freight switching yards, train locomotives have no engineers. They are moved by remote control. While freight trains often go slow in cities, they move fast when they're out of town. These are cars for carrying wood products, known as skeleton cars, because of their appearance when they're unloaded. In part three, we'll see inside of a locomotive on ramping up your English from Let's Create Productions.